my YouTube channel. So for today, we will be talking about the Super Freezer and what are the components included in it and what are the two systems which is incorporated to get the minus 60 temperature. So why do they need to have minus 60 degrees instead of just the normal one refer which can reach minus 30 or minus 18 for the fish for the meat or for any frozen goods so this is the refers which can reach minus 60 degrees celsius the most expensive refer and can carry expensive stuffs it has two refrigeration system incorporated to one unit. In short, you have two compressors, two filter dryers, two heat exchangers, two liquid receivers, and both are double except for the evaporator fan which you have three evaporator fan installed. So why do we need to put the cargo into minus 60 degrees Celsius? So in this video, I am going to explain why do we need to have minus 60 degrees Celsius. And at the end of the video, I am going to explain also on how this unit can reach the minus 60 degrees Celsius. In order to reach a negative temperature, for preservation, there are two options, freezing or deep freezing. For freezing, freezing is a technique which involves a slow decrease in temperature. The water contained in products is transformed into large ice crystal. But there is a disadvantage in this kind of technique, as the edges of the crystals can end up perforating the food cell wall, parts of the water, and the most volatile aromas can evaporate. But for the deep freezing, this is a technique which involves cooling rapidly and brutally the cargo by exposing them intensely to the temperature from minus 30 degrees to minus 50 degrees until the product core temperature reaches minus 18 degrees in just a few minutes. As we all know, the cell contains water or liquid inside. With this process, the water contained in the cells is finely crystallized. The killing of cells and the proliferation of microorganisms are limited. The cells become dormant as a result of the low temperature. Thus, the products treated retain their freshness, textures, and flavors, keeping their essential nutrients and vitamins. So the system uses basic cascade refrigeration system to achieve the frozen and deep frozen cargo temperatures between minus 10 degrees Celsius and minus 60 degrees Celsius. The system consists of two separate single-stage refrigeration systems with different refrigerants. One system is a low-temperature stage system that uses hermetic scroll compressor and R23 refrigerant. While the other system is a high temperature stage system that uses a semi-hermetic reciprocating compressor and R134A. So now let us discuss the staging of each system. So just like what I have said, we have two separate systems. We have two compressors. Now 
let's focus first on R134A. From the compressor, the refrigerant flows on the discharge side, which is a high pressure bay 4 state, and it will pass to the condenser coil, and then it will go to the receiver tank which has the side glass and then it will come back again to the outer ring of the condenser coil and then it will pass to the filter dryer and then it will pass through the expansion valve which then goes to its evaporator and it will go to the suction side the state of the refrigerant after your expansion valve is will be a low pressure liquid or mist state until it will evaporate on the evaporator decide it is a low pressure vapor state refrigerant so this is the closed system of the R134A. Now let us go to the R23. So again let's start on the compressor. So from the compressor on the discharge side which is high pressure vapor state it will then go to the outer ring of the condenser of the other system and it will pass through the heat exchanger and then another receiver tank for the R23 it will go to the filter dryer and the heat exchanger of the R23 system it will pass through the expansion valve and then through the evaporator coil and then we'll pass again to the heat exchanger all the way to the suction side I will not be focusing or discussing more on the state of the refrigerant here so what makes the super freezer special is because it can reach the minus 60 degrees or even lower through the use of R23 refrigerant. So the main point or key point here is the heat exchanger. So the evaporator of the R134A will be the one that will cool down the condenser of the R23 and the condenser of the R23 will be the one that will evaporate the freon on the R134A so it means from this heat exchanger the efficiency will be so high that they both help each other to condense and to evaporate each and every freon so I repeat, the evaporator of the high temperature stage system cools the condenser of the low temperature stage system through a special plate which is the heat exchanger. The condenser of the high temperature stage system then transfer the cargo heat to the ambient air. So the evaporator of the low temperature stage system cools the cargo achieving the cargo temperature down to minus 60 degrees so R23 evaporator is the one inside your reefer container and the condenser of the R134A will be the one that is exposed to the ambient air so it means they are topping the condenser and evaporator of each system to have a high efficiency 
for each other so they are helping each other